What is going on everybody? Happy hump day. Hope you're having a good start to the day. It is 10.30 a.m. here. About to go for a morning run. Now I gotta warn you up front. I've had two cups of coffee. I slept like 10 hours for the first time in, I don't know, a couple of years. So I'm gonna be wired and this may be a little rambly. So I apologize for that in advance. But we got some talking to do about Sorry, one sec here. We got some talking to do about the supercharger and the potential purchase of one today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a little pro and con type list. Not really a list, we're just gonna kinda talk. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of the Magnuson supercharger. Yesterday I put out the video asking you guys to vote if you want it or not and I've gotten an immense amount of responses and I don't think I'll be able to answer them all. So I'm gonna have to break my rule on this video and not be able to answer them all, but I am reading them all. I'm not done reading them all, but I am reading them for sure. Um, there's a, you know, as we expected, there's a ton of yeses, um, but the guys who are saying no or I need more information about it are kind of the ones I'm targeting here, but it's good for overall knowledge. So the first thing is, Somebody said to me, well, why would you want any more power? The 5.7 liter engine has a ton of power. <clears throat> 5.7 liter definitely has a ton of power, but as a automotive enthusiast, why wouldn't I want more power? The whole point of the game is as much power as possible, at least at this level. So yeah, that's that. Um, another thing is, and I said this yesterday in the video, hold on, let's get a little speed here. I haven't driven this truck in like a week. They've been doing construction at my job, so I'm not trying to take it because I could park the FRS um, down under a curb, so nothing will happen to it. But unfortunately, this truck is too big to get under that curb. So I haven't really been driving it as much. So I miss it, but um, still feels great. Another person's concern was, well, what if something happens? You're gonna need a second vehicle to get you around while they're repairing the Tundra. I'm guessing that person is newer to the channel because as I just said in the last point, I have the FRS. So if anything ever does happen, God forbid, I have the FRS to get me where I need to go while stuff's getting fixed. So the pros of the Magnuson Supercharger are pretty obvious, as we know. You're gonna get a ton more power. The truck is so much fun. Ask anyone who's gotten a Supercharger in a Tundra, the truck is so much more fun. It's already fun, but the amount of power you get, the sound, I'm a big sound guy, so I like to hear what I'm spending money on. And what's better than a supercharger wine? I don't know much. Um, <clears throat> there's so many pros to it. I think that's why like people always want to know the cons. People fear the supercharger because they don't understand the supercharger. And I was the same way. And that's kind of why you know I, I did my research and I knew for this channel that the next big step for it is this supercharger because we're already doing something pretty unique and, and rare with this truck, but a supercharger would put it over the top. It's not something you're gonna see every day, but it's something everybody wants, you know, but people are afraid to spend the money and they don't understand it. So in my understanding, well, one of the biggest things people always say, it's gonna void your warranty 100%, void it, that's it, no more warranty. And that's actually not true at all. So what it does to your warranty the only, it doesn't affect your entire warranty. It affects the warranty of the stuff that the supercharger would affect. So like Frank Ford and I were talking and one of the examples he used, if my radio goes out, my radio is still under warranty. I'm not gonna lose my radio warranty because I have a supercharger. <clears throat> the thing that you have to look at is, well you have laws protecting you when you have aftermarket parts. So if the supercharger, or if something goes wrong with the truck and I bring it in, they have to prove without a shadow of a doubt that the supercharger caused the problem in order for it to void the warranty. But that's for another video. I did a lot of research on it. Um, it doesn't necessarily void your warranty uh, completely. It affects it in a certain way. But don't forget, Magnuson gives you a three year, 36,000 mile warranty, and you can also get an extended warranty to five years. So that's a cool thing too. The three year, 36,000 mile warranty, I did find out though, is from when you bought your truck. So it's not like 36,000 miles from when you install the supercharger, it's when the truck was new. So if you're an owner of a Tundra that's more higher up in the mileage, you're gonna have to give them a call and figure out how that works, but you'll probably be out of warranty by that time anyway, so that's a good thing. 
So basically before I made this decision or whatever, I started to really go over what the cons are because that's the stuff I wanted to focus on. What are the cons of this whole thing? And that's why I asked you. People, some of the responses were great because a lot of them were like, what do you mean? Yes, do it, of course, more power, always, yes. I know it doesn't look like this in a lot of the moves I make, but I hate spending money, okay? I always wanna make sure when I'm spending money that I'm spending money um, that won't bother me later. I like to hear other people's opinions. Ask my wife when I'm about to buy something, I'm like, well, what do you think? And I'll ask her that eight times and she'll be like, just do it. Um, and she really wants me to do the supercharger because she doesn't want me to get another truck. So she knows if I get the supercharger, I'll be in this for a really long time, which is the plan anyway, right? I wanna build the channel around this and then, you know, go from there. But, you know, so the cons are the, the basics, the warranty, what happens if something breaks. If something breaks, I get it fixed. That's pretty much it. It's kind of like that. So what I'm gonna do is, again, we're going through the votes and whatever you guys vote on, I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do it immediately. And right now it looks like a supercharger is definitely gonna happen because just from, I think I read about 50 comments last night before I went to sleep and then maybe 20 more when I woke up this morning and I still have about 200 to read after that. But there was like two or three or four that said, um, don't do it. And everyone else was like, yeah, you need to do this. You need to do this for the channel. You need to do it for us. And I agree. I need to do it for you guys because that's what this is all about. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, who knows what I would do. But the point is to do stuff that you guys are unsure of. Things that you're like, oh, I wonder, you know, what it would be like with this and that. And that's the point of the channel and that's why I'm gonna do it. So there you go, there's my video. Ton of pros, few cons, keep the voting coming. Um, I apologize for the epic rambling, but man, coffee jacks me up. So now I'm gonna go run. It's good to be back behind the wheel of this truck again. Uh, comment below the video if you have any more questions. Don't forget to vote on yesterday's video. And uh, Twitter and Instagram at Tundra234 if you wanna contact me there. Check out my pictures. I'm always posting on Instagram. All my pictures, everything I do. When I was in Watkins Glen at the race, ton of pictures, ton of videos, check them out. Um, but like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends. We're building the channel here and I appreciate everybody uh, joining in and have a good day.